Joining us now, Matt Staver. Great to have you back and uh, lots to talk about. I wanna get right into it. You're currently defending a grandmother who exposed Planned Parenthood's horrible, uh, just disgusting trade in body parts. Uh, she's being accused because she made undercover videos. That seems to be more concerning to some people than the fact that babies were being ripped apart. Tell us about that case and where it stands. Yeah, thank you, Governor. Her name is Sandra Merritt. She's 66 years old. She is a grandmother, retired. And she has been targeted by not only the California Attorney General, but also Planned Parenthood. So there's two suits that we are defending her on. The criminal suit by the California Attorney General, who's a strong supporter of Planned Parenthood, and the multi-million dollar civil suit brought by Planned Parenthood, both in San Francisco, California. And what did Sandra do? She looked at information for several years. She actually consulted experts. She talked to individuals who were in the know about what was happening with Planned Parenthood and the organ procurement companies. And here's what's happened. And this was what came out as part of the trials that we are part of and continuing. What we know is that STEM Express and other organ procurement companies were working with research institutions such as Stanford University, and they had a website where you could go and order baby body part organs, and you could do different kinds of selections on drop-down screens. You could order a heart, kidney, lung, liver, brain, and other body part items at a certain gestation from the moment of conception. And then that order form would be delivered to a Planned Parenthood abortion facility, and they would then select the babies for that day, some of whom were born alive, and that shocked the world. Lots of ramifications for that. States defunded Planned Parenthood. Investigations occurred. Suits occurred against the organ procurement companies for violating state and federal law. And then she became a defendant in a California criminal court and also a defendant in a California civil court with Planned Parenthood because they want to stop her, silence her, and they want to send a message, do not ever dare to expose what happens behind these Planned Parenthood abortion clinics. You know, Matt, what you've just described, it's, it's like people can go online, order baby parts like they're shopping on Amazon, and then human babies right. are dissected for their parts and sold if I described to anyone what was happening in these abortion facilities, harvesting baby body parts, some of whom are still alive when their organs are being extracted, and if I didn't tell you the age of the person, you would think that I'm talking about the Holocaust during Nazi Germany, and that's exactly what's happening with these tiny, helpless infants, unfortunately. And it needs to stop. There's a bill in Congress, the Born Alive Infant uh, Protection Act, that we're trying to pass to say that if an infant is born alive, even if it was intended to be aborted, you have to give it medical treatment and help that baby just like you would any other life-saving intervention for any other human being. I know you've got a lot of cases going on. There's one in Indiana involving the ACLU and a nativity scene where they wanna banish any public display of them. Why is a nativity scene so disruptive to the ACLU in Indiana? Because, you know, it mentions Jesus, uh, but they don't care, they don't have a problem with all the secular symbols of, holi of the holiday, but they don't want Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. The fact of the matter is the Supreme Court has said a long time ago, and the federal courts have agreed, obviously, that you can have these public displays of the holiday that include the nativity, so long as on government property, you have some other symbol of the holiday, such as Santa Claus and the reindeer. These do, the ACLU doesn't care, and they have filed suit. We also have one we're working with, with a school, and they banned a live nativity after receiving a letter from the Freedom From Religion Foundation. But you know what? The Freedom From Religion Foundation had a similar suit, and the lower court agreed with them, but the Federal Court of Appeals reversed and upheld the live nativity. Well, you know what they cited to the school? The lower court decision that was reversed. They've lied, they've done it repeatedly to intimidate these schools and governments just simply to capitulate. We also have another situation where we're working with a senior uh, center. People 55 and older are living in this various uh, facility, these apartments and various houses, and they've just been told that they can't have any Christmas decorations, only a holiday wreath. This goes on and on and on, and so we want to educate and, if necessary, to litigate to make sure that the real reason for the season is not censored. 
you know, I just want to say thanks to Liberty Council and to you and the people that you work with across the country as attorneys for standing up for these things. Otherwise, we're toast. Yeah, we provide our representation at no cost. Sandra would not be able to do this, obviously. She only survives on Social Security on a monthly basis. Outside of that, she has no other income. And this case is the most expensive case in Liberty Council's history. And for people who want to follow this case and pray for Sandra and the legal team, you can go to lc.org forward slash Sandra, lc.org forward slash Sandra. But she is an encouragement to us. You know, we look at her thinking that she's courageous. She doesn't think she's courageous. She's just following the Lord's will. And she's been prepared over time with difficult situations she's faced to be able to stand. And this is what she's been called to do. And it's a great encouragement to all of us who know her. Well, thank you for what you're doing. And, and all of you can follow Matt on social media platforms at Matt Staver. And that's with one T in Matt. And learn more about Liberty Council. Find them online lc.org, that's lc.org.